Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Real Her I Am Fabulous Lip Kits. This contains a liquid lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip liner. I received this kit in a FabFitFun box and never heard of the brand, so let's give this stuff a test. This stuff is cruelty free, paraben free, has shea butter, natural ingredients, jojoba seed oil, and hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to help with moisturizing. I have the kit in deep red, and here is a look at all the ingredients of each of the three products. Upon opening the kit, you can see there is a thank you note. 20% of the gross profits from Real Her are donated to the AAUW. It comes in this kind of velvety plastic container and we have some white and black packaging with the tip showing the color of the product itself. This is the liquid lipstick. It's about the size of a normal tube of lipstick. It says I am tough and on the top it says real her lady love liquid lipstick. The lip gloss. This is the Real Her Lip Pumping Lip Gloss. Finally, the lip pencil says Be Yourself, Be Real Her. This is one of the weird ones that don't twist or anything, so I don't know. I guess you sharpen it. And on the back of this card, it has the direction. The liquid lipstick you apply to bare lips with a wand, allowed five minutes to dry. Once it's dry, lips will have a matte appearance, but avoid oily foods. The lip gloss you can apply on clean bare lips or layer it over your favorite lip color. The lip liner is to trace the curves of your natural lip line. It also does say you can apply one coat of the lip plumping lip gloss over the Lady Love liquid lipstick after it dries when you want to get a different look. The matte lip, the lip gloss, the lip pencil. Looking at them, I'd say the pencil and the actual liquid lipstick look a little bit cooler than the lip gloss, which looks a little bit warmer to me. So I guess we better get these on our lips. I'm gonna do a 12 hour wear test and see how this all goes. To test it out, it comes in a kit. I'm gonna test it as a kit. I'm gonna outline with the lip liner, apply one coat of the liquid, and then go over that with the gloss. The pencil feels very creamy. It almost feels like it would kind of smudge around. And you can see if you touch it, it does smudge around a little bit. I don't know if it's going to like dry down or anything. Feels comfortable, very moisturizing. Feels more like a lipstick than a lip liner, honestly. Alright, so let's go in with the liquid lipstick. Very opaque. Doesn't really have a scent or anything. I would say it smells almost vaguely soapy. The color is very beautiful, almost surprisingly cool. Like it's almost, almost borderline berry. I don't know, it's a cool deep red is what I would say. <laughs> so it does say to give this five minutes to dry down. It did seem to blend in with a lip liner really beautifully. I think my teeth look pretty white with it. So I'm just gonna give this a couple more minutes and then we will go back in with the coat of the lip gloss. As it's drying down, it is like super, super, super sticky. And it kind of feels like powdery or something. So anyway, I'm gonna stop messing around, gonna give this five minutes, be back in a second. All right, so it's actually been more like 15, 20 minutes. It really doesn't feel like it dries down completely. When I try to separate my lips, there's actually, it's very sticky and it also feels kind of powdery. It's a very unnatural feeling. It feels very coated and it doesn't really feel that comfortable. If I was stuck with this finish all day, I would not be a happy camper. It really does not feel comfortable or like relaxing at all. It doesn't feel like it's gonna smudge or move anywhere, but at the same time, you always feel it on your lips and even just talking, I can feel it wanting to stick and like stick my mouth together. So let's see if the lip gloss does anything to that. 
Maybe that will give us the like smoothness that we need to feel comfortable. Already that feels a million times better. It feels like my lips are liberated from that like sticky disaster. So definitely do prefer it with the lip gloss. Um, I've swatched them on my hand as you can see. The matte color did dry down completely and it's not going anywhere. The lip pencil, it does smudge a little bit and then the lip gloss is just a lip gloss. It's gonna come off if you touch it. So the next step is of course to wear this for the next 12 hours. I'll check in under natural light so you can see what the liquid lipstick looks like on its own and the liquid lip with the lip gloss over top. And then I'll check back in with you at the end of the night. So let's go. All right, so I'm just about to go and eat lunch. I just thought I would mention that, honestly, with the lip gloss, it's very comfortable. It's much more comfortable than I thought it would be, and it really just feels like a lip gloss at this point. It is kind of thick and heavy feeling on the lips, but at the same time, it's not sticky. So, so far, so good. It stayed on really well all morning, and it doesn't feel like it's going to move or anything. It feels really secure and in place. We'll see how it does after lunch, so I'll be back to check in right after I have a sandwich. Alright, post lunch. It still looks decent. It definitely looks a little bit worn down. But it does feel the most comfortable that it's felt all day. Right now it just feels like a normal liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna I'm drinking some coffee right now. I'm gonna push this as far as it'll last until I need to reapply and I'll check back in shortly after. End of the night, let's take a closer look at this lip situation. So believe it or not, this is 12 full hours of wear. I didn't touch up once because I was really adamant that I didn't want to reapply it because if you reapply, because the liquid lipstick is so like thick feeling, you really need to take it off. Like it would be so uncomfortable to layer it especially on top of a lip gloss. So now I'm just gonna take it off. And one thing I was thinking is, how does the lip gloss look with no liquid lipstick underneath? So let's check out how opaque that might be. My lips feel incredibly dry. They also look incredibly dry. And they felt incredibly dry all throughout the day as well. I'm gonna say this was a huge win for longevity and the elegantness of the fading. I honestly thought they might be a little bit stained, but it seems to come off fine just with my Sephora makeup wipes. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. We'll see what it looks like. It's pretty opaque. It's a lot warmer looking than the liquid lipstick and the lip liner, which are a lot more like purpley pink base. One thing that does surprise me is it doesn't feel particularly sticky, which I thought it would, but I think all the stickiness came from the liquid lipstick, which honestly is not my favorite. If I knew I needed to wear something for a full 12 hours and not have to retouch it, I would go with this set of three products. If I didn't have the lip gloss to coat it and to like take down that gross sticky powder feeling, I would not wear this at all. I guess the real winner in this kit for me is the lip gloss, which you guys know I don't really wear a ton of lip glosses. I honestly can't really recommend this. I think it's kind of expensive for what you get. In summary, what would I give this lip kit? As an entire kit, I'm probably going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. It works cohesively together. The lip pencil wasn't my favorite. It was a little bit too creamy and lipstick feeling. It definitely kind of smudged outward. The liquid lip was definitely kind of the fail for me. It was just super uncomfortable, really sticky. Like it was just too thick feeling on the lips, although it did last a very long time. And it was a very, very beautiful color. And then the lip gloss, in conjunction with the lip, liquid lipstick, it did work out, but I don't really think that I would reach for it on a daily basis. Um, having really glossy lips just kind of isn't my thing. Would I repurchase? I'm not gonna repurchase. If you guys have any experience with the Real Her lipsticks or makeup products, definitely let me know. Leave a comment down below. 
If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more beauty videos from me. I do a new beauty video every single day of the week. If you'd like to help support my channel, please do share this with a few friends or anybody you think might find it helpful. Or check me out over on Patreon where you can donate as little as $2 a month to help support my channel. Aside from that, I will see you all tomorrow in my next beauty video. Bye guys.